Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you about the U.S. Interstate Highway System. First, this is the standards that were established for numbering the routes. Routes with odd numbers run north-south. Routes with even numbers run east-west. For north-south routes, the lowest numbers are in the west. For east-west routes, the lowest numbers are in the south. The longest east-west route is I-90, starting in Seattle, Washington, and ending in Boston, Maryland. This is a map of I-90. The longest north-south route is I-95 from Waterville, Maryland to Miami, Florida. Here is a map of I-95. Now, let's see three-digit interstate routes. This is how there are three-digit interstate routes. When an interstate hits a major urban area, beltways around the city carry a three-digit number. These routes are designated with the number of the main route and an even number prefix. To prevent duplication within a state, prefixes go up. For example, if I-80 runs through three cities in a state, routes around these cities would be I-280, I-480, and I-680. This system is not carried across state lines, so several cities in different states can have a beltway called I-280. When I-95 hits Metropolitan Washington, D.C., coming from the south, it becomes a famous beltway, as in the political expression inside the beltway that circles the city, signed I-495. North of the metro area, when the two circumferential highways rejoin, it becomes I-95 again. Here are two examples of beltways. Hey guys, thanks for watching! And at the end you'll see some facts about some major U.S. interstate highways. So thanks for watching.